Welcome to Career Pathways. My name is Don Bowers and I'll be your instructor for this short video. In this video, I want to show you a couple things about Joomla that I've learned. And that is, how do we actually create drop-down menus in Joomla 3X? Now, one of the things I've found is there's a lot of tutorials out there. There's some written documentation. There's some web stuff, but none of it really worked. And I wasn't really sure why, so I went and did a little more research, and I found out something that really works for me. So we're going to follow uh, several steps in this process. First, you all know we need to create categories and associate categories with articles. Where my category has already been created, it's called Tutorials, and my article is actually called Server 2012 because that's the kind of tutorials I want to publish. Now, I don't actually have any tutorials up there yet, but I do have the article page ready to go. Then, we're going to go ahead and create a top-level menu called Tutorials. And once we create the top menu of tutorials, then we're going to create a submenu and associate it with that top-level menu. This, the submenu is going to actually be called Server 2012 Tutorials. So once I do that and I put those two together, then we simply need to turn on the drop down uh, menu or submenu uh, setting using the module manager. And once we've done that, then we will actually be able to go ahead and test the menu system. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started creating drop down menus in Joomla. Now here we are on our Joomla website, and this is going to be a website called pentestprime.com, and you guess that this site is going to be dedicated to penetration testing. Now I don't have my um, my tutorials menu yet, but I do have three menus here that I've already configured, and they're up and running, and they're working just fine, just like I intended them to work. Okay, so now of course I want to create a tutorial menu with this. So let me go ahead and get into my back end. And the first thing I'm going to do, and again, as I indicated before, I've already created the article. The article is called Server 2012, and I have not created any menus or done anything else yet. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my menu manager, which is right here. I'm going to go to the main and open that. And I'm going to create a brand new menu. You can, by the way, see the menus I have here already. I'm going to create a brand new menu. I'll go to New. And I'm going to call this menu tutorials, T U T O R I L S. And I'm going to go ahead and select a menu type. The menu type I'm going to select is going to be system links, and I'm going to go ahead and choose external URL. Now, I'm not actually going to link to an external URL, so in order to do this link and actually not have it linked to anything, I'm simply going to put a let me get that to go in there correctly. I'm going to put a um, pound sign in there. And if you put the pound sign in here, what is in effect going to do is not link to anything. So while it says external URL, it's not going to go anywhere. So that's going to bring the functionality I need to this particular button. I'm going to go ahead and click save and new and when I do that and I go over here and click on my button to view the website you can see here it is and now I have a new button there called tutorials but you can see it does absolutely nothing as designed okay and I'll again I'll even refresh this one I've actually had this up here a couple times and there it is so let me get rid of one of these because I don't need both of them up Okay, so there we are. Let's go ahead and go to the back to the back end and create our second menu now. So the second menu is going to be called, and again, I did a, a close and, and uh, new. So the second menu is going to be called Server 2012 Tutorials. And this type of menu is going to be actually connected with my article. So I'm going to select Article. And this is going to be a single article. And I'm going to go ahead and select the actual article, which is Server 2012. And there it is right there. And the only other thing I need to do is, under here where it says Parent, right here on the right-hand side of your screen, I'm going to simply choose Tutorials Menu. And folks, that's it as far as the menu creation. And I can create as many of these as I want. 
I'm going to go ahead and say save and close. Now, if I take you back to the website, you will see that it is there, but it's not going to be able to do anything yet. Uh, and so if I click on my website up here and I press the refresh button and you can see it's refreshing again even though the menu's there it doesn't do anything because I still have to actually turn on the drop down menu feature with inside Joomla why it doesn't come enabled uh, at the begin uh, at the beginning or the initial install I don't know but I know how to turn it on so I'm gonna go ahead and go to extensions I'm gonna go to module manager and I'm gonna go to the main menu which is right here going to click on that and I'm going to go down to the very bottom and simply tell it to turn on the ability to do submenus. How easy and cool is that? I'm going to go ahead and save it and close. I will simply go back up to, the, to my website. I'm going to press the F5 to refresh and you can see it's already there. Look at that. And if I click on that, you'll see it's actually going to now refer to my article of Server 2012. Now, there's nothing in here yet, but I intend to put a bunch of videos in here, for example. And I can do as many submenus I want, and you can see these come up automatically. So it really is a great way uh, to do submenus inside Joomla. Simply create the menu system, and then you have to remember to turn it on. Once you've turned it on, you're good to go. So that's going to conclude this article. I hope you enjoy this YouTube video, and I will see you uh, during the next video.